in today's showcase for DAISY 0.61 Stable Branch. We'll be taking a look in some detail at milestone goals for 0.61, as well as the extra little bits that were added and not mentioned in this list. So without further ado, let's get started. Kicking this showcase off with a new server browser, which is much sleeker and easier to use with the full control panel on the right hand side for all your server options, making it that little bit easier to find your favorite servers to play on. On top of the new server browser, we have the server login queue, no more have we got to sit there and spam to join our favourite servers, we can now simply click once on connect and wait as that number dials down. Once you're connected to a server you're going to notice some network synchronization improvements. From interacting with your character's action bar now and noticing how much more responsive it has become, all the way up to that much loved PvP which is now a greatly reduced lag fest. Personally I've not experienced one desync situation in PvP no matter where I am or with how many survivors. But with that being said, the infected are even more of a threat than they were before, with the new dynamic spawning of infected, which allows for more infected to be spawned on the map when needed. Some of the aggro infected will follow you for quite a while compared to before. And of course, the more infected friends you have following, the easier to spot by other survivors you will be. So the next time you think you're safe taking out one infected without Mosin, you may find yourself attracting 50 more. And while you have 30 plus infected chasing you down, and a player starts to shoot at you on Northwest Airfield, it's going to make your surviving life a hell of a lot more difficult. And speaking of other survivors shooting at you, oh my god, does the new audio technology sound good? Pause. I see. But there's, there's three, there's three. Not only have we got a merge of the new audio technology from Arma 3's Eden update, we also have all new weapon firing sounds to accompany said audio technology, as well as a fix for the silent gunshot sound glitch we encountered in previous Daisy builds. And this all comes tightly packed with supersonic cracks fully intact. But there are additional changes to audio in 0.61's update on top of firearms. Infected now have audible footsteps, so you can hear if they're sneaking up on you, or you can sneak up on them with a stealth kill. You never know, they may have some useful loot for your journey ahead. Cheers, Deinfected! And of course we can't forget the wildlife of Chernerus, which have been greatly improved with new audio, allowing you to immerse yourself in a seemingly real hunting situation. But don't get too carried away, as there are now predatory animals in the form of wolves who hunt in packs and will track you down. We've witnessed the wolves flanking both sides of our survivors, boxing us in for the attack. The footage you're seeing on screen now, I wasn't intending to die. Just get some footage of wolves for you, but I panicked, dropped my AK, fumbled my action bar, decided to run for safety, but it was too late. So you'll either not have enough ammo to deal with the wolves and you can't outrun them, or you'll have plenty of ammo at the risk of attracting infected and possibly survivors. Another welcome addition to Daisy 0.61's update was Dynamic Shadows, which helps with immersion when you see a squad of survivors huddled around a campfire in a house or in the woods, or like we tested here, with a torch. As you can see, the light doesn't bleed through solid objects, but does come through windows and doorways naturally. Muzzle flash from firearms is also affected by Dynamic Shadows.
On top of all that, there's also been some extensive map changes, like revisions to existing towns and military locations, as well as several new military and evacuation outposts dotted around Generous. I do have full guides for all new military locations as well as map changes. I will leave links in the description below and annotations on screen now. Oh, and while you're visiting these new military locations, don't forget to check the containers, which now open and also contain loot. While you're going to be doing a lot of running and exploration due to these map changes, you may want to find yourself a pair of these new Converse sneakers, which come in a variety of colours. And with changes to the nutritional value of food in 0.61, you may need a bigger bag to carry all that food. So why not try the Coyote Pack, which has 35 inventory slots. If that's not big enough, why not try the Alice Pack? She's a beast and has 40 inventory slots. Both these new backpacks come in a variety of colours and can be found at military locations. While you're there, why not pick up the new BDU military pants? Looking good, soldier. Those of you with big ear holes may have heard the new melee sound effects earlier on in the video, so don't forget while trying to survive to randomly whack off objects and see what sound they make. Or if you're musically talented like Hepsky, you could do something like this. Of course, there are more changes under the hood of DayZ 0.61's update, like surviving the elements. Getting caught out in the rain can quickly turn into hypothermia. In this situation, a thermometer is really handy, and you gotta keep your clothes dry, at the risk of showing off the new dynamic shadows and attracting other survivors. So all in all, DayZ 0.61's update has some really nice features and is a good follow-up to 0.60 where we had a good boost in performance due to the first iteration of the renderer technology, which made a lot of players' experience within DayZ a lot more enjoyable. And I believe 0.61 will expand on that greatly. There are still new iterations of 0.61 on Experimental Branch, primarily to test vehicle desync performance. Vehicles were removed from 0.61 stable update, as the dev team have mentioned many times before, were not very happy with how they were performing. And of course, now we have 0.61 on Stable Branch. There will be a small portion of the team started work on 0.62's Visual Fidelity Overhaul update, and the primary bulk of the team will soon start working towards beta release. So did I forget to mention anything added in 0.61 Stable Update? If I did, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Also, please remember all things seen in this video are considered work in progress. You'll find all relevant links in the description below. Subscribe if you wanna and leave a like as it helps the channel out a lot. And I'll see you peeps next time. Where? Where are you? Oh yeah, I see you. I'm at the... Oh, nice.